Hi friends, welcome to Testing Tutorials Point. This is Lokesh, and today we are going to discussing about how to create a shared configuration from Android and iOS by using WebDriver IO JavaScript. Okay, and my previous video, if you see the framework level, how we can able to create the framework and structures we are explained right now. We are going to see for this particular configuration related information. The configuration, why configuration is required means, now I'm telling only for Windows related uh, stuff, in case if you tomorrow, your client is asking for Windows as well as iOS, both the combination you want to ask. And also sometimes you want to run in some server stack also, like browser stack and all, right? The similar format, but whenever you run something in uh, Windows, maybe this it is not the same for ios okay that moment what will happen the configurations are changed this desired capabilities are changed everything then what we can do for that moment we can able to create our configuration file separate separate which works when we are calling for that particular spec we can able to run okay that we can able to do it how we can able to do it and all for this, you have to create this particular, uh, uh, you need to open for browser stack and all, okay? This time closing the, so all the things. Okay, I opened and everything I kept, and now I'm coming to here. And just before doing, I just, I will uh, create here one folder that's called config folder. Okay, inside that I'll store for my all of files. Okay, and this is uh, wdio.config.js file. Is that right? I'll rename into wdio.shared.config. Okay, and also I'll move this particular file into this config location. Okay, now I am in this particular location. And the same thing, one more file I'll create wdio dot android dot config dot js this is my a new file if you have os uh, ios just wdio dot ios dot config dot js file that is the one change it will happen okay now what all the things are required here first we need a pattern uh, checking right for that i'm going to make it and in case something, if it is there something in the shared folder, a uh, config file location that I need to consume and work for that. Then for that, we can able to use constant curly braces config. We can able to mention config is a name for that configuration are required. Okay. In a required, we can able to mention single quotation dot slash shared config file. Okay. This is via our file. Okay. Now, what are the things we can able to copy from here? That is a port. Port is a unique to using uh, both the locations, right? For this, I'm going to cut it, cut that one, or else copy and delete that particular file and pasting here. Okay. And we need to change the two things. One, we need to make it for config, a dot port, and here colon place, we can make it for equal. Okay, then we can able to use it for another thing that is called a specs. The spec also we need to use it because we are running the specs, right? For the specs, we can able to use it. Okay, for this, I'm going to make it for config.specs and I'm removing for these colons and make it for equal. And also I'm going to make it for canceling this one. Okay, then Again, I'm going to use desired capability, okay? And this capabilities, again, I'm cutting this one and save this one and here I'm pasting and config is there, right? I just, I'll copy this entire information to here, okay? And making for equal symbol, okay? And also I'll remove this, okay? Now, we copy pasted and everything from here to here, okay? But only one thing we can able to do it. Here, we need to access this all the file means. We can make it for in the last one is exports. 
exports and here we can able to use for config equal to config okay this what will happen it will take as a global uh, configuration because we are used a config right we need to get the every time this all the things okay this is the specs format and this is my port and this is everything okay now if i am trying to run this particular file it should be run okay it should run then how we can able to do it i just see in the previous what will happen npx wd i will run and we are using for dot config dot uh, wd i would dot config dot js will be there now it is android dot config slash wd i if you have some confusion i'll uh, copy this entire spec Okay, copied and I'll mention for node. And if you see here, WDIO, WX, this one, and the previous, it is not, it, it will not be there. And also, it is not also there. Okay, dot config dot the specs, and we are providing the location where exactly we are running, right? That we are providing. Now we can able to use it this power format, right? Now present it will be extra one dot config and Android is coming for newly. Okay, because we are using for spec format in that particular location. Okay. Now if I'm enter now, if I open my Android Studio. Once it is connected, maybe we'll see for exactly what are the issues, whether we are able to run our spec or not now it is trying to connecting our android okay something it is happening okay something it is not able to scrolling properly in the top the core level something happen i'll check later okay now you can see how my test case got past okay if you see it is able to a uh, read based upon the, our configuration location as well okay it is able to take the port number here we, we don't have any port number right the port number is presented from wdio.android.config location here okay it is taking this location it is taking for this particular location and it is taking for this all uh, stuff and it is running okay this is the way even if you have for ios you change the ios then keep it for ios uh, file location and run it and again it will take that as well okay and if you have any browser stack related then that also it will work we'll see for browser stack and all okay and the later video sessions thank you for watching please do subscribe and share to your friends and colleagues thank you